give your point of view since you know you know the plight of the basketball player can you provide your point of view as to where blacks or maybe minorities have dropped the ball in the game of golf or where had the the system has maybe dropped the ball for uh you know introducing these kids from the hood into the golf course and the golf community well <clears throat> That's the fascinating point uh, about golf when you think about uh, the Tiger effect. Uh, Tiger and I are the same age. Uh, we we come into professional sports uh, at the same time. Mm -hmm. And as I look back on the growth of basketball, you know, all the people that that I've had an impact on, not only just in basketball, you're talking about across the sports, you know, now, like I, I did uh, a few Zoom calls with a d couple different football teams this year. Mm -hmm. It's fascinating talking to uh, the different NFL teams because a lot of these these guys that you're talking to, you know, they were kids watching me play. Um, I've spoken to University of Miami, fo Miami football team. Uh, and so I'm always trying to figure out a way to connect with younger people. And that, that connectivity is what grows the game and what allows people to to take some information from you and then grow and learn and say, okay, if I see you and I understand how tall you are and then I get a little pointer here and there from you, that's all I need. And and that's the disappointing thing with, with golf, uh, with Tiger is there's only, uh, I would say two black golfers on tour now, other than Tiger, you know, in the last, when you think about the last 25 years, <laughs> yeah. you know, three technically, but, yeah, but that's the thing. There's, you know, I know you got Cameron Champ and you got Harold Varner. Joe Bramlett. And then Joe, who? Joseph Joe Bramlett. Bramlett. Okay. The, the, the Bajor one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so, but you're talking about more, you know, more uh, black and brown people that you see on tour. Uh, and, and, and I think, you know, Tiger does a great job with his foundation, and this is not an indictment on him as much as just the tour in general just making sure that they they have access. And I think everything we went through with uh, uh, over this last couple of months with George Floyd and uh, Breonna Taylor being uh, mm. uh, unnecessarily killed uh, and James Blake being shot, the, the list goes on. You know, people, you know, white people in this country understand that there is a movement that they need to, to affect, they need to help and you figure out a way to create you know, avenues for black people to have equality, because now you start to see it, you start to understand. Mm. It. And mm. when you look at, if you just look at it, nobody says anything because it's like golf, you know, there's a lot of black people that play golf. There's a, a lot, lot of people that, enjoy the game, but yeah. there's, there's, we, there's no success to the next level because of opportunity. When you're talking about even Will and Doug, you guys both tried to, you know, get on tour. And, and the thing that separates you from getting there is opportunity and, and finances. 